guys, Alpha Nerd here, back with video number two for the Amazon Fire Stick. All right, today we're going to pair Bluetooth keyboards. So first we're gonna sideload the settings app. Second, we're going to go ahead and pair some keyboards with it so we can actually use this thing on the web or just better uh, search function in the Fire Stick being that it does not have a great fire uh, search section. So uh, the first one that we've uh, paired with it successfully is this is just a case from my iPad mini. It's from Brookstone. Works no problem, like a charm. Comes right up. No pass key, no enter this code. Um, the second one I've paired with it successfully is from Zag. It's also on my iPad right now, holding my iPad that's recording this video. Um, no problems, no uh, passwords, no you know keyword, anything. Works successfully. Second one that I paired was this little generic. It was like nine bucks on Amazon. Um, Bluetooth keyboard, not much to it. This one you do have to put a code in. It pops up and says enter this on the keys. Um, you put in the code, hit enter. It sits there for a second and says connecting. Then it'll successfully disconnect, but show it that it's in the uh, menu. So then all we're gonna do is select it and boom, it worked, no problem. So, you know, uh, yeah, I've only had the three Bluetooth keyboards. It's the only three I've tried and they all three work, no problem. So. Sit back, relax, another five, six minute video, and we'll have a couple Bluetooth keyboards going. First of all, you'll need to download the two files from the links that I've posted below. So go ahead and pause this video and come back when you have the files downloaded. Okay, so now we'll go over to the Fire Stick. And there's a couple things we have to do to get this thing set up to allow us to ADB into the unit so we're going to go over to system we're going to go down to developer options and we just want to turn on the ADB debugging and then the apps from unknown sources we're going to turn that on it's going to want us to confirm that we're going to click OK now we're going to go ahead and back out I want to go up to option or to about and we want to look at our network and we want to note down our IP address. So go ahead and write down that IP address. Now that the IP address is written down, we can close out of here. All right, so let's go ahead and install the drivers we just downloaded. So we go to our driver download shortcut. And that's where I have all my download. So we're going to go ahead and install the ADB setup. We're going to go ahead and run this file. And we want to go ahead and install. So we're going to confirm it with a yes. Confirm the next one with a yes. And confirm the final one with a yes. And then we want to go ahead and hit yes here for net or hit next. Go ahead and install the driver. And that's it. Pretty much that simple. It's installed. We're good to go. Finish. It'll give us an all done. Kind of. So now we go ahead and open up our command prompt and we're going to connect to the Fire Stick. So open up command prompt and go to ADB connect and then we're going to put in the IP address 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 6 was mine yours is obviously going to be different we hit enter should start the server server started and now we're connected to the fire stick so now we're already in the downloads file where we downloaded our settings app too so we're going to go ahead and install the setting app so it's adb i n s t a install Settings, enter. And then this is going to just sit here and blank for a while. It is actually doing something, um, being that it's, you know, this is not a huge file, so this one won't take too long. So there we go, we have it. Um, it's success, everything comes up. And now we have the settings app on our Fire Stick. So successfully side loaded, we're good there. So we're going to go back over to the Fire Stick. And we're going to start pairing some keyboards. Right, so on the Fire Stick, we're going to go down to Settings. We're going to go ahead and scroll over to Applications. 
We're going to manage all installed applications. Go all the way down to my settings app that we now have. And we're going to launch that. Uh, from here all we do is we go into our keyboard, our Bluetooth, sorry, Bluetooth. And then uh, up at the top we have search for devices, so we're going to highlight that. And the first one I'm going to pair here is the uh, Brookstone Virtual Keyboard. So we're going to get that going. We're going to look for devices. Let's see, found my cell phone. And there we go, Brookstone Virtual Keyboard. So I'm going to scroll down to that one. We're going to select it. It's now pairing. And there it is, it's connected. So I will put the remote down and I'll go over to the keyboard. And we will move around in here. We'll hit the back button, we'll escape out of here, escape out of here, so that's the Brookstone virtual keyboard, it's the little red laser one, um, I'll put a picture up there also just so you see it, but So that's the first one, work no problem. Next one I'm going to go ahead and do is my Zag Folio keyboard. It's the uh, one that comes with my iPad case, or it's built into my iPad case. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off the uh, Brookstone. And we're going to go back. Now we're out of there, so I go back to here. So again, we got to go into the applications and manage all applications. We're going to go into the settings. And we're going to go ahead and launch the settings application. And again, I'm going to scroll down to Bluetooth. And I'm going to search for Bluetooth devices. Let me turn this guy on. Search. There we go. Pops up. Go in here with this one. Select it. And there it is, it's connected. So now if I put the remote down again, and I go here with the Zag keyboard, working no problem. Hit the home button here. Home button works, even though it's an iPad um, unit. Go back down to settings, scroll over. This works great for uh, Firefox or for uh, the browser. Alright, so now I'm just going to go back into the applications here and I'm going to go down to Firefox and we're going to launch Firefox here. And then up here on the top, uh, we're going to tab up there and we're going to just type in uh, Google here. And then we're going to go down to the Google search bar and type in weather just for something to try out. And there's our local weather, pops up. We can tab down, up and down arrow keys and you can get into... Uh, you know, launch wherever you want to go. Um, I've been trying this out in uh, Chrome and in uh, Firefox and it seems to work pretty well. Much better than trying to navigate with the remote. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out. Alphanerd, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and put them down below. I'll do what I can to get uh, more videos up, whatever it takes. Um, Alphanerd channel. Keep your eyes out. More to come on the Fire Stick. And uh, I got some other great tips and uh, tricks coming your way uh, on another thread. So uh, keep your eyes out and like this video if it helped you out. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll have more coming.